Okay then, Zack. Let's go over what we found out recently about the case. First, Diane, the owner of the art gallery. Uh -huh. She was out drinking with Nick Cormack in a bar on the night Anna died. Right. Nick confirmed this, and so she has an alibi. But then we have what Nick's wife Olivia told us. Okay. That's a cheating, According probably. Olivia, Nick and Diane not only went to the bar, but also went somewhere else that night. Do you remember where that was, Zach? Don't gotta do this shit again? The art gallery. Yep. That's right. The art gallery. Before entering the gallery, Diane looked back towards Olivia. Almost huh. as though she saw Olivia in the dark. Nick's behavior has also become more suspicious by the day. If Olivia is correct, then he is heavily involved in this case. But we have no conclusive evidence of that at the moment. The only thing we can say for sure is that Nick's whereabouts are unknown at the time of Becky's murder. Right. There's no alibi for the crime. But that fact alone means nothing. So who was it that called Thomas to report trouble at Becky's place? Ah, good point. It must have been Quint. Or was it Carol? I don't remember. No, you're wrong, Zach. Fuck, it was Quint, I guess. Now, who was it that contacted Thomas at the sheriff's No, you're office? wrong. Fuck you. It's Carol. <laughs> it was Carol. It was Quint. Becky's boyfriend. He went to her house and saw the tragedy. Now, about It was Becky's Carol. Brother, Bullshit. I'm embarrassed and mortified. Killer struck again while we were on the case. We found her bitten off tongue. A massive amount of red seeds that poured out with the blood. Then an inverted peace symbol, like the one seen at the site of Anna's murder. From the similarities, one can deduce that Anna's killer killed Becky. Right. Or it's a copycat. We also found one other important piece of evidence in Becky's room. Can you remember what that was, Zach? A dildo. A big King Kong-sized dildo. <laughs> That's right. We found a sketchbook in Becky's room. Still wet. She had apparently written a letter <laughs> to her sister Diane. It revealed that Becky took a locket from Anna's body at the crime scene. She also admitted to borrowing a pair of Diane's stiletto heel shoes. So Miss Stiletto Heels was Becky. Uh -huh. There was something else at the end of the letter. It said that she handed the locket and stiletto heel shoes to someone. Do you remember who, Zach? To the garbage man. I fucking dumped it. <laughs> That's right, Zach. And from what Isaac and Isaiah told us, Carol offered to take the items to Diane, but the twins refused. They gave them to Diane themselves, as they had promised. For some reason, Carol wanted the locket. Hmm. She ended up storming into the gallery to take it from Diane. And when Carol took the locket from Diane, Casey just happened to be there. Hmm. Is Casey involved in this? Or was he just there by coincidence? I wonder what's so special about the locket, too. Why did Carol want it so badly? The questions are mounting. Come to think of it, Quint, the first witness, has no alibi for Becky's death. Right, he was Jack there, Cormac but does it mean... Call definitely came from her house. Huh. Is it possible he attacked Becky and then called us from the scene? But everyone is suspicious one way or another. What should we do next, Zach? We should okay. quit. Who's the most suspicious? Fuck! I'd say Nick. No, what? So, this is a, this is opinion. This is all opinion. <laughs> I guess Diane. That's right. 
Becky's sister and Carol's enemy, linked to both Nick and Kason, the elegant owner of the art gallery. Zack, that's our next move. We'll start with Diane. Right. Your opinion is wrong. You fail. How dare you have an opinion on the subject? You're wrong. So, you want to find out everything there is to know about Diane? That's right. There's just too many things that we don't know. First, we need more intel about the relationship between Nick and Diane. How? Nick and Diane meet every night at the bar. Let's use that. George, we'll need you to stake out the gallery. Ah, what we're do you mean? follow them. Wait in the parking lot of the art gallery and tail Diane when she leaves. If she goes anywhere other than the bar, you let me know. Huh. Emily, you take the diner. Wait for Nick and tail him to the bar, too. As with George, if he goes anywhere else, then you let me know. It's getting real okay. interesting. <laughs> Thomas, you keep a watch on them inside what the bar. What the fuck? Why'd he fall backwards because we said yes. his name? Yes, I will. <laughs> Thomas, whoa, boom, falls down. <laughs> Once Nick and Diane are together, I will follow them wherever they go. What time do they usually show up, Thomas? Around the same time. Usually between 22 and 2300. Then at that time we do it, boys and girls. Synchronize your watches, team! <clears throat> Alright. Mission complete! Damn, only nine days on the job and he made almost $10,000? Holy shit. <laughs> Alright, time to save.